In the last video, we looked at setting up the basic structure for a thesis. In this video, we'll start customising the page layout using the geometry and fancy HDR packages. Let's open up the project we began last time. The first thing we will do is make the document two-sided so that we save paper by printing on both sides of the paper. To do this, we add the keyword two-side into the document class command. Next we'll load up the geometry package. To configure the page layout, we enter instructions into the square brackets of this command. The first thing we will do is change the paper size. By default, the paper size is set to US letter. We'll change this to A4 paper. Next we'll change the width of the text by entering the keyword width followed by an equal sign and a number in millimetres. We'll choose 150 millimetres. Next we can change the margin sizes at the top and bottom of the page. You will notice that on even pages, the text is positioned slightly closer to the right hand side and on odd pages it's closer to the left, or in other words, the inner margin is smaller than the outer. This is due to us specifying the two side option, but it often confuses people. If I download the document and put two pages side by side, I can explain why LaTeX does this. The reason is that when you bind the document together, the smaller inner margins will be adjacent and then combined will be a similar size to the larger outer margins. This means that the three columns of white space that you get with a double page spread will be a similar size. However, you may want to compensate for the actual binding. To do this, we will use the binding offset keyword. We'll choose to offset it by six millimeters. Next we'll add in headers and footers using the fancy HDR package. First let's load up the package. Immediately after the use package command, we need to add the page style command and enter fancy into the curly brackets. If we now compile the code, you will see that a header has been added to all the pages except the title page, the contents page and the first page of each new chapter. By default, the headers have the chapter and section titles in. If you're happy with this layout, you can leave it like this. However, I'm going to show you how you can customise it. To do this, we use two new commands, the fancy head and fancy foot commands. First, we'll enter a fancy head command and leave the argument empty. This is to clear all the header fields. Then the standard format for these commands is the command followed by square brackets and then curly brackets. In the curly brackets we enter the text we want and in the square brackets we specify which parts of the header we want the text printed in. For example, this line tells LaTeX that we want the text thesis title on the right hand side of the header for the odd pages and the left for the even pages. Now for the footer, again we start by clearing the footer fields by adding a blank fancy foot command. If we want the page number to appear on the left of the footer for an even page and the right for an odd, we'd use this code. The the page command returns the page number of the page it's used on. Now if we want to add some information about the author and the current chapter to the footer, we could use something like this. The the chapter command does a similar thing to the the page command. Notice that we've used the letter C in these examples to specify the centre of the footer. Now if we compile the document, we can see the headers and footers have been added in. Before moving on, I should briefly introduce you to two more commands that you may find useful. The left mark and right mark commands. Rather than explaining what they do, I'll just show you them by entering them into one of our fancy foot commands. This is what the left mark command produces. And this is what the right mark command produces.
Obviously, you can play around with all these commands to get your headers and footers just how you want them. To change the thickness of the lines in the headers and footers, we use this code entering a size in points. I recommend you keep it fairly small to keep it looking sensible. Finally, I want to mention the page style command. If you have a page that you want completely clear of headers and footers, then you can use this command followed by the word empty. If you want a page with no headers or footers except for a simple page number at the bottom, you would use the word plain. However, you need to be aware that using this command changes the page style for all the pages following the command. Therefore, we need to turn the page style back to fancy as soon as we want the headers back. This concludes our discussion on page layout. In the next video, we'll look at using images and tables. Please do subscribe to our accounts to keep up to date.